Hi guys, Gunter here, and uh, welcome back to my legendary playthrough of Skyrim on the Xbox 360. Oh man. <laughs> Alright, let's go over here. <laughs> yeah, basically at the end of the last episode, um, we managed to arrange a festival in solitude here at the Bard's College. We've got them back in favour with the um, with the Yarl, which is good. And now, as everyone says, there's a lot of free stuff to be have. So let's speak to her and get ourselves some free wine. Just one bottle per customer, except for the man who saved the festival. Here's a couple of bottles for you. Sweet. So I got some free wine. Oops. And this guy gives us any of those um, delicacies you want. This guy over here gives you some meat pies, I think. So. meat pie, specially made. Okay. I said a free meat pie. As oh, sorry, my one. mistake. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Now, this guy actually has um, quite an interesting storyline, so we'll just listen to what's happened to him. He's had quite an eventful childhood. I showed up to watch, yeah. I really? don't know if they were right to execute him for what he did, but I'll tell you something. It couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Well, dude, that's a bit harsh. Listen, Rogveer and I grew up together. It was us, a few others, and Vivian. Vivian oh, there we go. I have no idea why, but one day I told Rogvir I liked her. It was a stupid thing to do. He mocked me incessantly after that. From that <laughs> what a point forward, every time Vivian and I were anywhere close to each other, he made sure to humiliate me. He beat me up, dumped meat on my head, anything he could get away with. Once he even slipped a beehive into my bed. Oh. Children, sure, but Rogvir never outgrew that immaturity or his cruelty. So any talk about him being an honorable Nord, ugh, pure folly. All right, so Rogvir, uh, if you don't know, is the guy who uh, always gets his head cut off as soon as you arrive at Solitude. Um, now, t to be honest, the Bard's College is a bit of a strange one in that, um, although it is kind of um, a guild, as such, uh, most of the actual quests don't actually count as real uh, guild quests, they're mainly side quests. Uh, and I know for a fact there's quite a few for us to do. Um, now, there's kind of like three uh, musical instruments we need to to return. Um, so I think this woman here, no, nope, not her, this one. See, yeah, Pantia, she has a flute, I think it is, that we need to get hold of. Festival restored. Oh, thank you. So uh, let's get that quest from her. Labrina. That fool student of mine stole my flute and sold it to some oh necromancer. Okay. I just got a ransom note for it. That flute has been handed down for 17 generations. Okay. Well, don't just stand there. Go get my flute. Alrighty. And uh, why would a necromancer actually want a flute? Apparently, Lorena told him some story about the flute being able to make the dead dance. Oh, that explain it then. <laughs> A really old and valuable flute, but just a flute. Now okay, I get it. It's just a flute. Most talented bard in all of Skyrim. Yeah. You right, so let's go get this flute. And uh, let's go check out where it is. Uh, I think, yeah, it's here in Hobbsfall Cave. It's quite a cool little location, actually. Um, there's also a standing stone that we still haven't unlocked. I think it's roughly around here. So um, I guess we should really go do both things. Um, now, the only place we've unlocked close to it is this uh, Frostflow Lighthouse, if you remember, uh, which has quite a good perk. Uh, for completing a little murder mystery there, uh, you actually get the Sailor's... Repose, uh, which means that healing spells actually cure 10% more. Uh, which is quite a nice reward for uh, what is, to be honest, a pretty grisly <laughs> um, adventure. Uh, but for now, let's just get over to the lighthouse, and then for now, we'll make it to this cave. And I'll catch you guys in a sec. Okay, so this Shadow is back with us again. This is the lighthouse, and uh, the cave is pretty much in a straight direction, but we've got to kind of make a bit of a dangerous descent. So, I'm not sure how this is actually going to go. It's probably not the best way of doing it, but I just can't be bothered going around anymore. Uh, and just over there, just on that little hill, that's where the actual um, standing stone is. So I don't know whether we should just make a beeline for the cave straight away. Or maybe work our way around that way to the standing stone, which is probably the safer thing to do, to be honest. 
Uh, so yeah, let's get the standing stone first. Because um, if I remember correctly, I don't think it's actually guarded either. And uh, it's a pretty useless stone to be fair. It's the, I think it's called the tower stone. And what that does, it just lets you kind of unlock um, a pick once a day, which is to be honest, pretty pretty pointless as far as standing stones go. Uh, but we might as well get it unlocked because there is an achievement to um, to find the location of all of them. Ooh, that does not look good. Oh, hello. I hate these things. Mainly because I can't see it. I hate ice race for that reason. It's just really hard to see them. Boom. Goodbye. Uh-oh. Uh so... Uh, Okay, do we have to go around, or shall I just uh, do something really stupid? <laughs> well, first of all, let's heal up just in case. Hang on, is there another race around here? Hmm, interesting. Okay, uh, so let's go to whirlwind sprint. And do something really stupid. Ow. That hurt, but we got it. We survived it. That's the main thing. So yeah, there's a standing stone. Oops, and I'm going the wrong way. Let's get the Dragon Slayer back on. And let's go do this. Like I said, I don't think this one's actually guarded. Uh, usually they are guarded by something. Um, what's this? Quicksilver? Excellent, we'll have that, definitely. And let's let's get... This is our mining setup, just in case someone decides to spoil my fun. To be honest, I'm not sure if this way of doing things is actually quicker at the end of the day than going through the animation. But it certainly looks better. Uh, kind of makes you feel like you're actually working for the ore. But for now, that's what we want. And this should be the tower stone, hopefully. Yep, there you go. Can I get that without dying? The Tower Stone. Uh, those under the sign of the tower have the option to automatically open expert or lower locks. You may have only one blessing assigned at any one time. Uh, but it's pretty pointless, so I don't think I'm going to take it. Uh, the one that we've got at the moment is the uh, Lord Stone, which uh, gives me 50 points of damage resistance and also 25% magic resistance, which is quite good, especially because we're about to go up against uh, Necromancers. Now, can I be bothered working my way all the way back? And the answer is no, so let's be lazy and just go to the lighthouse again. Okay, so here we are again, and um, let's just go directly the straight line, see how it goes. Now, I must admit, I'm under a bit of a deadline now, uh, because, you know, this series is brilliant, and it's, you know, it's really brought my channel alive, to be fair this one game uh, but the problem is you know next gen is now upon us and um, you know I'm so desperate to get involved in that really um, we've got destiny coming up in uh, September and you know destiny by the looks of it is kind of a mix between Halo which I loved and also Borderlands so you know you can imagine I'm going to be all over that game uh, but the problem is bef before that I do need to really kind of not just finish off this Skyrim series I also really would like to do the other Skyrim series because, uh, you know, I found just by playing around a really good way of getting a really decent early character for Legendary Difficulty. Um, so I really would like to do that. And uh, there's a couple of other games that I'd really like to, to bring to the channel, which I'm kind of um, experimenting with at the moment. Um, I've still got the Borderlands 1 DLC to do as well. Uh, but obviously I don't like doing it blind and I've never actually played the DLCs so at the moment I'm currently uh, working through Borderlands again uh, with another character, another uh, commando character 
uh, but a character nonetheless, just so that you know I can go through the the DLC first of all myself, so that when I actually record, I'm not just bumbling around the whole time. Um, so you know, I'm kind of busy with that, but I am kind of conscious of the fact that I really do need to somehow find a way of making more videos, because uh, otherwise there's just not enough time before September arrives. Um, I've also actually pre-ordered um, The Elder Scrolls Online Imperial Edition for uh, for PlayStation 4, because my, my plan is, you know, I am going to get a PlayStation 4 at some point. Um, and, you know, even if I have the Imperial Edition because of the extras, um, I don't know whether I'm actually going to bring it to the channel straight away. Um, or whether I'm just going to wait until it inevitably, yeah, inevitably goes free to play before I actually start bringing you content on that game. Uh, but that's you know that's in my mind as well. Um, so yeah, I've really got to pull my finger out with this series to be honest. <laughs> I'll try and get through it a lot quicker than I am doing, I think. But anyway, I've digressed enough. Um, we're going into this place, uh, Hobbs Fall Cave, which is full. Of necromancers and skeletons, uh, so let's have some fun. Now, if memory serves, I think there's also a stone of Berenzia somewhere in this cave, so you don't have to keep our eyes peeled for that. But what I'm going to try and do is uh, just speed run it. Uh, I'm not really too bothered about any kind of loot or anything from this place, apart from obviously the stone. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna get up there. Go this way. I'll be there in a minute. Jeez. <laughs> so yeah, like I say, we're just going to come up against mages and these guys. There's no problem. I'm not even going to bother using the good stuff. I'll just use some uh, Nord arrows because I seem to have a load. Oh. See what I mean? <laughs> Boom. Get asleep. And what's this guy got? Nothing. Right, this guy. Scroll of Mass Paralysis. Awesome. That could be quite interesting. Uh, clairvoyance. No one ever uses. <laughs> you can keep this. I'm not even going to take the daggers anymore. That's how much I've come along. <laughs> uh, take all of that, though. Uh, I think there's a skill book in here somewhere as well. If I'm not mistaken. Maybe not. There's a black soul gem though, thank you very nicely. Obviously necromancers are quite a good source of uh, black soul gems. Let's press on in and um, I can hear a skeleton, so I'm assuming... Oh, I also hear someone coughing. But don't worry, I've got cough medicine in the form of a Nord arrow to the throat. <laughs> So I think if I remember correctly, there's a skeleton there, and then there's the, the actual necromancer just there, on some barrels, so, goodbye. Arch necromancer as well, oh, not too bad, don't need that, Kick that I'll take that for now, not really too bothered about staffs either, but at least you can, you know, sell them. Yeah, I don't think these skeletons are going to have bone meal somehow. Press on because I can hear more movement. Yep. That'll hopefully bring the attention of everyone else. Oops. Fail. Actually, used to be quite good at archery. <laughs> Believe it or not. Oops. Come on. Whoa. Hello. Do not dodge my arrows without permission. <laughs> now there's a red dot. So I'm guessing there's another enemy somewhere. Are they below us? Yeah, they must be below us. Uh, I'll take your robes. Keep everything else. No one. <laughs> Lavender, interesting. Oh, that one did have bone meal. Bone meal is quite a good ingredient. Um, I'll leave a description. It's, uh, I think it's bone meal, just off the top of my head, bone meal, um, chicken egg and blue mountain flower I think it is. Makes quite a, a valuable potion. So, you know, it's worth it 
for leveling up your uh, um, alchemy. Oops, failed. Oh man, not a goat. Spirit goat. Now oh, they seem to be snagged. Oh, that's good. Really, skeleton? You are not skeletal, dude. You are. You are just <laughs> destined to fail. Who are you? You're paralyzed. That's who you are. <laughs> Alrighty. Anyone else? Step up to get smacked down. Is it very clear? I think it is. So I think it's down this little side passage here where the, uh, the stone is. I think there's normally at least one mage down here, maybe two. Oh, hang on. Sweet. Black soul gem, sweet. No, normally see that on a skeleton, but I'll take it. Weak paralysis poison, okay. These skeletons have got some really funky stuff on them. And uh, I think, hopefully there's just one guy down here, is there? Maybe two? There he is, so sneaky sneaky. Oh, you would have to be an archmage, wouldn't you? Just in case. And that's that. So let's uh, just check out what we've got here. Uh, thank you. So we've got an alchemy desk here, which is kind of cool. There's uh, some random books. Oh, skill book there. But obviously we've we've already learned that one, unfortunately. And uh, what else have we got? The bed. Oh, there it is. The Stone of Berenzia. We need uh, 24 in total, so at least we've got 10. So we're on our way, that's good. Take that, take that, and that. How about this? I have Sabre Cat, sweet, take it all. <laughs> uh, some random books. Oops, no, I wanted to open the cupboard. Wooden bowl, cowl, and black robes, no thank you. So that's pretty much for this area. Um, it's just worth coming down here for the Stone of Renzia. Oh, I see you, Mr. Chest. What should be just like some gold or something? Drat. It's gonna take forever. <laughs> there we go. So if we got and gold, what did I tell you? <laughs> it's hardly worth it to be honest. Still, we did it. So yay for us. <laughs> Let's get back on up to the main trail. Because uh, I think that woman's voice that we heard was actually the student who stole the flute. So hopefully we'll be able to save her. Well, I doubt it, considering how many necromancers there are all over the place. Small pearl, thank you, thank you. And uh, what have we got here? Take that, take that. Is that a satchel? Yeah. It was <laughs> with one L's here. L's is, as you know, um, I use in my fortified maximum potion with juniper berries, or you can also use spider's eggs if you want to. There's an enchanter's uh, skill book here, but obviously we're at 100, so it's not going to help us. Um, and there's also an enchanting desk, which, like I say, whenever you have an enchant arcane enchanter out in the world, just take advantage of it. You know, you don't have to spend too long, but just, uh, you know, you can always check your inventory to see if you have got something you can disenchant, and, uh, you know, just. I tend to go for um, either jewellery, enchant jewellery, or enchant daggers. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you choose either. You're only doing it really for the experience and also just to sell on to a sold to a trader whenever you can. It just adds a bit more value to the item. Um, but for now, that's that. Let's just check out this guy and this pile. Oops, go hide. <laughs> Oh, goat horns, yeah, I can use those in my house, so I'll take those. Because, you know, we, all, we already have one plot of land now, um, in just near to Morthal, where we can build our own house, which I'll be doing at some point. Um, but to be honest, I must admit, the Hearthfire DLC is probably the weakest of the DLCs. 
because it doesn't really add that much to the game. I mean, it's very nice to have your own house, but to be honest, a house without traders nearby isn't really that useful. Uh, I'd much rather go to a town and, you know, hit up all the traders to get rid of inventory and then, you know, just ditch all the good stuff in my house before continuing rather than, you know, going into the middle of nowhere. So I'll pull this chain. And that'll open up the rest of the way. Ooh, now these are traps, but obviously, like I said in a couple of episodes ago, it just shoots out the the soul gems. That make, renders them, you know, pretty harmless. Unless you're like me and can't aim. There we go. So these are all gnawed arrows anyway, so I'm not really too bothered, but... And the other way of doing it as well, you can actually just sneak up to the uh, the column and steal it if you if you're feeling confident. But I'd rather just shoot them out. Ooh, hello! You coming towards me? No, your mistake. Oops, need to get closer. I think it up. Soul jam, sweet. I think we're getting close to the poor unfortunate student now. Yeah, she's around. She's just at the top there. Damn. Which one do I go for? <laughs> Fail. Fail. Honestly, I did used to be quite good at archery. <laughs> I don't know what's happened. Oh, that was a moving shot. That's pretty cool. That wasn't. Oh crap! Now they're getting too close. As you know, I've got a real fear of majors, especially on legendary. Oh man, this is getting embarrassing now. I know I. I know you heard what? I think there's one more just up there. Let's see if we can draw him out. No. Okay. Gold, sweet. Take all of that. It's a recipe as well. Again, I don't tend to use the recipes too much. Um, it'd be nice if, you know, once you opened it, it actually stored it in your um, your potions list, rather than just kind of being a piece of paper that you've got to kind of remember what it says. Now, I've got to be careful, because like I say, I think there still is one alive up here. I definitely saw three moving around. Although it doesn't seem... Oh, man, I didn't manage to get one. What's this? Black Soul Gem. And... Oh, Larina. So yeah, this was a student, that, uh, probably the woman's voice that we heard as soon as we entered this place. Sadly, I wasn't quick enough. Um, so she paid the price. Sorry about that. Well, there wasn't much I could do, really. Now, what's that glowing sound? Right, this is what we came for, uh, Pantea's Flute, as you can see it's not really that spectacular in any way, apart from the fact that it's named. I can hear something whirring away, but I'm not sure what it is. Uh, there's a couple of uh, dead bodies in there as well, but nothing too exciting about them. Certainly not worth picking the lock for. And now the exit is this way. So yeah, let's let's book. Let's get back to the Bard's College. Let's check that I've cleared it. We have. And uh, what a beautiful sun sunrise sunset. It's really cool. But anyway, let's get back to uh, solitude. What am I doing? <laughs> Okay, solitude, solitude, solitude. Um, quick, safe, uh, closest point is actually Blue Palace, so let's go. Alrighty, so Bard's College is, I think it's this one. Or is it the next one? Yeah, it's this one, okay. Uh, let's just go in and find, hand in this quest and call it an episode. 
Okay, now I must admit, the Bard's College is quite a good place to come to as a level character, just for all the books that you can find on, you know, just wandering around. But unfortunately, uh, for our character, it's not really worth it. So let's go wake up Pantea and give her a flute. Good evening. I'm Pantea Atia, the master vocalist. Of course you are. I recovered your flute. That's it. Wonderful. I knew I could count on you. I don't have any money to give you, but I okay. can show you a few tricks so. I learned playing for the Winterhold Wizards. Alteration, conjuration, destruction, not bad so far. Illusion, awesome. Uh -huh. And restoration, so basically she'll give you uh, a skill point in each of the schools of magic, which is really worth doing that pretty simple quest. Um, now there's two more to get. Uh, there's a, a lute and also a drum. So let's go speak to, I think he gives you the drum mission, so... Should we do the drum one next, or should we do the... Uh, yeah, let's do this one. All right, let's go speak to him, and then I'll call it an episode. They found it. They actually found it. Find what? Rior and Strom. Nobody knows okay. where he died, and therefore where his drum might be. Haldir was the missing link. Riorn entered Haldir's cairn in secret and presumably died there. Okay. Now all I need to do is find someone to get it. Wait, you. You could do it. I need you to get me that drum. Okay, fine, I'll go get his drum. You're joking, right? Riorn, only the most famous battle drummer of the Second Age? Well, famous among bards, at least. That drum <laughs> so not has famous. been <laughs> a dozen famous battles. It's a priceless artifact. Riorn was always looking for new stories to tell. It seems he was writing a lay about Haldir when he vanished. That was the missing clue. I suppose okay. I should return to my papers. I suppose you should. So that's coming up on the next episode. We're going to go get a drum. And then once we've done that, uh, we'll go speak to an old woman who I can never remember the name of. And, um, no. What the hell? <laughs> Dude, smoking. <laughs> when you're sleeping, is bad for your health, man. All right, so hopefully the Bard's College will actually be here next episode and hasn't been burned to the ground. Um, let's just check on the map quickly and uh, see where we're actually going. And yeah, as I thought, it's close to Falkreath. Alright guys, uh, that's it for this episode. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, like I say, hopefully the Bard College won't have been burnt down in the next episode. And uh, I'll catch you guys then. For now though, as always, thanks for watching. Take care and peace.